was shaking it up up on that stage at the Miracle Theater at Actors Playhouse. And it is time to kick off your Sunday shoes and put on your dancing ones. Footloose, a musical, is taking center stage at the Actors Playhouse. I hang out with the show's dance captain, and we got a chance to cut loose. Well, like the song says, I've kicked off my Sunday shoes and I brought my Keds along, of course, in addition to Footloose being a part of the 80s Keds, too. Uh -huh. You're telling me a lot of the cast members wear Keds during the show. Absolutely, yeah. We try and uh, make it as period as possible. So we got lots of Converse, lots of Keds, lots of Adidas. All right, and we're yeah. here with Chris, who's the choreographer, the dance captain. Dance captain, for, yes, yes. For uh, Footloose. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us, is there a lot more choreography involved with the show? Do the dancing skills have to be at another level in comparison to other musicals? Well, it's very interesting because the show takes place in a town where dancing is not allowed. Right. So for a large part of it, we have to find different ways of expressing ourselves either through gymnastics or different kinds of dancing. But um, at the very beginning of the show and the very end of the show especially, we dance our faces off. Can you show me a little bit of what uh, the cast members do on the stage? So we're going to move to the right and put our heel up this way. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to move this way, put our heel up. Good. You're going to kick this right foot and bring it together. And then okay. kind of go boing, boing. Boing, boing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just done the boing, boing. Okay, the boing, boing. And we're going to step out on our left foot now. We're going to go okay. left, heel, okay, right, thing, the heel, right, right. And then you're going to switch your hips real quick. Hit, hit. Hit, hit. Uh-huh. And then bounce it twice. Oh, I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, kick, bounce, bounce, left, right, and switch, switch, hit, hit. Good. is at the Actors Playhouse until April 6th. For information or tickets, call the box office at 305-444-9293 or go to actorsplayhouse.org. By the way, uh, Footloose was a big hit on Broadway for two years, was nominated for Tony Awards, now at the Miracle Theater. The Boing Boing, it's to help remember the choreography. Because I was like, Boing Boing? Like, what was that all about? Hey, and whatever, it does. whatever, whatever you need. Yeah. <laughs> Looks yeah. like at the Actors Playhouse, where the 80s are back in full swing. How was it? It was so great. It's been more than two decades since Kevin Bacon kicked off his Sunday shoes and now a musical version of Footloose takes over a South Florida stage. I went behind the scenes at the Actors Playhouse to meet the talented cast. Before Hairspray, there was Footloose the movie and now Footloose the musical is shaking up South Florida. And we're here with four of the 24 cast members. Now I want you to all introduce yourself, the character you play, and the actor that played you in Footloose the movie. <laughs> Uh, my name is Nathaniel Shaw. I'm playing Ren McCormick, and that was played by Kevin Bacon. My name is Amy Miller Brennan. I'm playing Ariel Moore. That was played by Lori Singer. My name is Christopher Kent, and I play Willard Hewitt, who was played by Christopher Penn in the movie. My name is Barry Tarallo. I play Reverend Shaw Moore, and uh, it was John Lithgow who played my role in the film. All right, speaking of the film, I'd like to know uh, how is Footloose the musical similar or different from the actual movie? Well, the story is the same. Um, young guy coming from Chicago, moves into a small town, and has a little showdown with the Reverend here over um, whether or not the kids should be allowed to dance. I guess the greatest difference is, as opposed to those hit numbers being background as they were in the movie, we actually get to sing them now. All right, so I think in addition to Kevin Bacon having this kind of breakout role in this film, another thing that made this the 80s cult classic that it is to this day is the soundtrack. The music right. is just right. phenomenal. It just screams at you. Yeah. What are some of the songs that folks can look forward to? There's huge hits. Um, Almost Paradise is in there. Let's Hear It for the Boy. And, of course, uh, the theme song, Footloose. Footloose. 